Welcome to Not Like This. Not Like This. From professional wrestling, horror films, and everything in between. Strap in. And now your hosts, Dale Zawada and Jim Snedeker Jr. Welcome to Not Like This. I'm Dale Zawada. That's Jim Snedeker Jr. Jim, I'm hot. You sound hot. That was a hot intro. These motherfuckers over at Kia <laughs> stringing me <laughs> stringing me along. Brought the Lucio well, Mobile in. All right, strap in, folks. I got to get my, my inner Karen out oh for, for a moment here. So I bring the car in for the handful of things, including a little LED kit, a little puddle kit on the bottom, some LEDs. It's nice. going to be tight Ooh, whenever I see it. So I bring it in. I've had it scheduled for a couple weeks. I bring it in. Like, all right, we're looking at uh, 2 p.m. I'm like, all right, well, that's bullshit, but thank you. Because we've all brought our car to oh, yes, whatever they say, add an hour, easy, easily add an hour to that. So 3.30 rolls around an hour and a half later. They're like, you know, the lady calls me, and she's, she's nice. She's like, yeah, it looks like they're wrapping up here soon, so if you want to head over, you know, about 20 minutes or so, and blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right, cool. Uh, Cause I'm walking it. Cause I live really close to the dealership. So I'm like, all right, now I'm just, I'm hoofing it. I actually like that little reason for exercise. And I get over there and they're like, all right, well, they're, uh, yep. They should be, <laughs> they should be wrapping up soon. Have a seat and, uh, you know, come and get you. It's like, okay. Fucking hour goes by. Fucking hour. I'm sitting Jesus there. Christ. Oh, when I said they were finishing up, I didn't mean your car. And, you know, I keep wandering over there, and I keep seeing my car in the same spot, hood up, not moved an inch. And I'm like, and they got to wash that motherfucker afterwards, too, because they're like, you want a car wash? And I'm like, how much is that? It's free. It's like, well, why are you asking? How much is that? They're like, we, well, we price things by time, so it's another <laughs> eight hours of your life. Just wash it if it's free. Don't ask me. <laughs> so I'm like, look, I got like 1% left. I got a podcast to do. Fucking call me when it's actually done. What is this? Yeah, it's looking like about 15, 20 minutes. If you want to get a head start, <laughs> just said, call me when it's done. Said, Mitch, the hood is still open. Nobody's over there. I'm looking right at it. It's all up. Oh, yep. He's cranking away at it right now. Oh, hey, Jeff, a... is that uh, Lucio Mobile <laughs> almost done? Yeah, Bill. I'm, uh, I'm in it right now. No, you're not. I'm looking at you. Lucio There's nobody by my car. What's a Lucille Mobile? No, Lucio Mobile. Oh, okay. That is that is what it is. Yeah. That is 100%. I was like, is that another thing I got to hear about a Kia? Because for a while, <laughs> I was like, that's the fucking hamster car. And I'm like, I don't watch TV. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Kia commercials. I've never seen a Kia commercial unless it was on Monday Night Raw. So, no. No, you were just all hype. It was like Lucio Green. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. That was, yeah. The Lucio so Mobile. She, and she's like, yeah, there's a short that they found here and so they're they're working on that now i'm like you why did you call me this is the first time a i've short? ever had i think that. it's a long it's a long time i've been here <laughs> i don't see a short anywhere that's the comedy i wish it was a short bitch i'm calling these longs <laughs> from now on yeah we found a long in your car have you ever had this yeah, uh, Mr. Snedeker Jr., uh, Mr. Snedeker King, it's looking like it'll be done in about 20 minutes. Have you ever gotten that? I've only always had cars done, motherfucker. Come pick this piece of shit up. I, so. I've never in my life had them tell me it's almost done. Why don't I come by? I've either stayed there and then and then you know, you know you're taking a risk staying there, but they sort of put you at the front of the line a little bit. If you yeah, wait in want, there, they don't want to deal with your ass. Um, but then they don't, they don't come out and tell me like, it'll be about another 30 minutes. Now they'll come out and tell you, here's what we found. If you're there, you know, if you're waiting there, they'll come out and tell you, here's what's going on. Well, yeah. Go ahead and fix it. And then they go, okay. And then they said, just have a seat right there. And then we'll let you know when it's done. Or I drop it off. I walk across the street to Guitar Center and then I get lost in the moment. I'm lost in Guitar Center for hours. And then they call me and say, Hey, it's all done. And I just walk back over and pick it up. Never once have they said, it's going to be about 20, 30 more minutes. Why don't you head over now? That way it'll be ready when you get here. No, no, no. You tell me when it's ready and then I'll be there. Tell me when it's done. And I, I kind of like the spirit of it. 
you know, get ahead of the game. Nice and nice, smooth transition, but it's not for my benefit. I know you're trying to get that car out of there. And she's yeah, like, yeah, you know, about 20 minutes out is 340 sound. I'm like, yeah, I guess now, now the, to make an appointment for you to finish, like when my car will be done. Now the pressure's on me. What if I'm late now? Like, I hate that. I get anxious about that to begin with. Now you're fucking putting it on me again. So I may, I definitely made sure I was there, you know, three 30, just in case it was early. No, no, it was not. So, um, so I'm expecting a phone call at any fucking minute here. So we'll see. We'll see oh how boy. that goes. So they didn't and, finish. We no, I had to leave. I said, lady, I got a, I got work to do. Have you heard of not like this? A dozen or so people have. You'll hear about the new one. Don't worry about that. I got shit to do, lady. But she was really nice. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't mean to her at all. But it was funny because when I brought it in, you know, and she's telling me, yeah, run two and all that. Cool, cool, cool. The lady next to me, she was bringing her car in. And, you know, same speech with her guy. He's like, uh, yeah, yeah. Do you have a time preference on this or anything? And she was like, uh, sooner than later would be great. <laughs> like as soon as no. you can get it done. Okay. Do you have a time yeah. preference? Yeah. Now. Is it yeah, done I'm now? Looking at him like, why are, you, why are you people asking these stupid questions? <laughs> do you have a time preference? Yes. Immediately. Can you, you get want, right on that? Do you want a free car wash? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, do you want your car ASAP? Of course I do. No, I want to get it Thursday. I'm doing a project. I want to see what it's like to just be a be a, a pedestrian for four days. And I'm watching the guy that's working on my car, and I'm like, oh, Christ almighty. Getting a little nervous. <laughs> He's on his phone. Little... He's going on YouTube like, how does this fit back on? Getting a little nervous already. He's wheeling a, a tire. To my car, and I'm like, I am not getting new tires. I don't know why that's right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then he looks, he like looks at his paperwork and just like shakes his head. Nope. And then I wish to wheel it back. <laughs> I, I am getting uh, my pass, rear passenger tire patched. And I'm like, uh huh. I'm watching that. I'm like, mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. We couldn't. Patch Anybody want to check out him? Do we got a leash for this guy? We had to just sell you a new one, right? That's what we talked about, right? These sons of guns, man. And it's unfortunate because I've always had pretty good uh, stuff going on there. This is the first bad experience. Just call me when it's done. Who, Whoever has this policy, whichever fucking bean counter over there is just like, and then we'll call them when it's estimated 20 to 30 minutes before wrap up. That way we can, I don't know, maybe get them in the building and they can buy a, a keychain or one of our Kia shirts. Ain't nobody buying a Kia shirt. <laughs> Why do you have them there? I hate that so much. That drives me crazier than anything. Like you see some guy on his Harley and he's got like his Harley pants on and his Harley boots and his jacket that, you know, they, they're like, Hey, you know what we got here? We could, th- you know, put a package together, get you a discount. Like, bitch, I just bought your motorcycle. How about you pay me to wear the fucking shirt? Well, Harley's different. That's, that's a whole I get it. It's a lifestyle. Thing. But I mean, uh, specifically, when you see, like, this guy bought that bike and the jacket and the pants and the boots, they all look the same age. He got that all at the same time. This is the bundle. Uh, we the have bundle. Uh, the premier bundle, if you'd like that. We also have the basic and the extended bundle. And see, my no, whole thing. No offense, is, Dale. It's yes. no offense oh, to you. Oh, okay. Here we go. No, I drive, a, I drive a, a, like, a little shitty Toyota, right? You drive a, it's a Kia, right? You have a yes. Kia Soul? Yeah. It's not, we don't drive Mercedes Benzes. We're not, we're not driving Porsches around. You know, like yeah. who wants to buy a, a Toyota keychain or a, who wants to buy a fucking Kia keychain? And I love spending money on stupid shit like that. And I'm like, even I can't justify any of this. A shirt? A fucking Kia shirt? <laughs> what am I painting a house later? And it's like, there's no hamsters on it. It's just like the logo. I'm like, this is gross. Lucio's not on it. Yeah, give me Lucio. Now, with the Harley stuff, see, this is, here's my rule on that. Yeah, someone has to know you're a white supremacist. I don't think you should wear those items when on the Harley. Now, if you're off your your rig, if you're off your bike, yeah, you know, I think that's kind of cool to represent but if you're wearing the merch while on the merch, what's a mark? I'll take it a step further. I agree. I never really thought about it. But, yeah, I agree with that. But also, if you're off the bike, you shouldn't wear the merch if you don't have one. 
Oh, I definitely agree with that. Because that's just begging for a really awkward conversation. Hey, what do you got in your garage? Which oh, one you got? Which model? I got a Oldsmobile Delta 88 station wagon. No, no, no. What, what, what bike? What Harley you got? Oh, I haven't had one in years, but I love them. That's a, but that's a fresh shirt. Yeah, it's a new shirt, but I had an old Harley a long time ago. That's like mm. if I was walking around with a Smith & Wesson shirt. And like, yeah, I, lo- I, I used to have a gun. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> For a second, I thought you were going to say, yeah, that's like if I was wearing a, an NWO shirt. And I was like, oh, shit, don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, no, that's that's different. That's being that's family. That's timeless. I'm that's wearing life. an NWO shirt because I am the NWO. I don't wear it because I'm just a fan. That's part Fuck that's part life. of you on the inside for life. Oh, well, I'm you know, I'm sorry that you had that little hang up. Little hiccup. Could you imagine? And they always ask, "Are you are you gonna you know stay here, or do we need to give you a lift home?" Mother, there's no way in hell I'm gonna stay here while you work on my car for a ridiculous amount of time. I always leave. I always leave. I always know it's gonna be at least an extra hour to their bullshit. Ah, oh, man. Anybody, if I if I see anyone say, "Oh, I'll just sit in the lobby," ma'am, no, <laughs> come with me. We'll <laughs> do stuff. Come with me if you want to live. You don't have to watch this HGTV garbage where they're going to remodel right. this house and then these people are going to buy it. It's oh, that's the only fun. thing on in those places, and I don't understand it. Um, and now I'm not affiliated with this place, and I don't know anyone who works there other than through them working there. But, man, the Firestone out in Maryville, where I take my car, they, don't, they never fuck around. They never screw me on prices or, like, fake shit that needs to get done. I've taken my car in there before because the dealer said something was amiss that I'm like, mm, this doesn't seem right. And they've, they're like, no, they're making that up. There's absolutely nothing wrong with your car. And like, they even said the words on the paper that, well, so I guess they typed them. We recommend no service today. How often does that happen at a mechanic? Like we recommend nothing, not even a cabin air filter, you know? So, so they've always had my respect so when I wait in there, uh, like a lot of people do, I know that w- if you drop it off, you're at the back of the line because there's going to be people waiting in there. So sometimes I wait in there because there's five feet of snow and I'm not going to walk over to Guitar Center or it's eight in the morning and they're closed and I got to just sit in there and watch the Punisher on my phone. And that's fine. I have my expectations set, you know, but they've never done me wrong over there. I wish I could get a sponsorship or something on the show for them because they've never you, screwed me over. Now, but I can't speak for all Firestones. No, you I just know, I think you know I've I got a guy over, over there. I've had some uh, run-ins with my local Firestone. Uh, not a fan of my local one. I'm glad the Maryville one's pretty good. Yeah, which is why I'm like I'm just gonna keep doing this dealership stuff, mostly for accountability. If anything goes wrong, I'm just I'm looking at you guys like you yeah, did it. It's yours. What'd you do? It's your baby. Look at me. And I got the the best warranty. It's fucking deal with it, fix it. And I've had this appointment scheduled for two weeks. God damn! And it. You're gonna give me the five hour run around and then a two an additional two hour run around. God, I think she just wanted to talk to me. She just wanted to call. I'm like, do you want to just come in and you know, it's hang pretty out much done or whatever you want to do? Oh, <sighs> what a what a right. bummer. I'm calming down, though. That's good. Good, yeah. Take a deep breath. Take a load off. Uh, can I get a... Um, is it possible? Can I get a minute of your time? You can get a minute. Okay. I just need... All I need is a minute of your time. Uno. I have that? Uno minuto. Hey, this is Brett the Hitman Hart, and I got a very special happy birthday shout-out going out to a very special longtime fan of mine. This is going out to Jim... This is coming courtesy of Dale, but it's also coming courtesy of all your friends and all your family. Everyone's thinking about you right now. They just want you to have a great birthday and just know that I appreciate you for being such a great fan for so many years. Always in my corner, always backing me up, always cheering me on, always just being there for me. I just want you to know I'd like to be there for you. I know you're an amazing musician, and I hope you get back out on the road real soon because everybody needs it. 
Everybody needs you, and I just want you to know everyone loves you for being the great man that you are because you are the excellence of execution, not only at being an amazing musician, but playing Overwatch, and just know that everyone loves you for being that guy that carries everyone all the time. You're always that rock, that pillar, and you are the excellence of execution in life, and you prove every single day that you are, without a doubt, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Just keep on being that amazing man, Jim. Have a great birthday. Just know everybody loves you. Don't ever change. And just know that you are the best. Well, that is quite a birthday present, I have to say. It was my birthday on Saturday. And I uh, I didn't see it coming at all. I had no idea that Dale was going to do that. <laughs> and uh, I was like, what's going on? Chris is like, you got it. There's something in your phone, but I got to take a video of you. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, it's on your phone. I'm like, no, it isn't. Y- y- yes, it is. I'm like, no, it's not. And then she's like, look in your thing. You're the chat with the people, with the thing. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And I went in there and there it was. There it was. It was in there. And uh, there he was. She got a video of me watching it and uh, it was. I got, I'm not going to lie. I've watched it about six times. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. And uh, just I just from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Dale. And I love you. And that was Absolutely. an amazing present. Love you too, brother. Yeah, and he gets a little fired up. He, you know he loves this shit. Because he's like, <laughs> these are my fans that want these. These Absolutely. are my marks. These are my people. Yeah, these aren't like people getting these ironically or anything like that these are legit i have heard although i have heard that uh tito santana's are quite quite worth every oh every really penny you, yeah yeah because they're like twenty dollars oh okay he's just like happy birthday uh dale's is tito santana <laughs> tito out yeah. tito. and then you know that then i'm like you know what dale's right he should be in the hall of fame but that well, was I had great. Seen... He gets all into it. He's like yeah. passionate about it. And then and then the most important takeaway is he tells me don't ever change. Don't worry. I won't. I think mm-hmm. it'd be nice if you started. No, honey. Bret Hart told me never to change. And I'm not going to dishonor him by changing now. This is true. Jim, your number is at work. A bit. Sir, Bret Hart told me don't ever change. And God damn it, I'm not changing now. Apparently I'm sorry. He... Are you Bret Hart? Well, Bret Hart told me not to change. How many times are you in the WWE Hall of Fame? Less than two? Okay, then I'm not changing. Boss, look, it looks like he passed on the baton to me. It seems I'm the best there is. The best there was. The best there ever was. In fact, he so. actually says that. So you're fired is how this is working right now. And I didn't even mention that. I was like, this man is going all in he worked in that and he worked in excellence of execution multiple times and that was very i love how much he still cares about his like promo stuff oh yeah (laughs) it's like his signature lines like the part uh early on when he's you know he's like always support me always having my back like he gets in i'm like oh shit he loves his fans so much oh he loves him so goddamn I was just like, yeah, this guy's his birthday is getting old. Uh, Overwatch and he, music. And begin. That's like he's like, that's all I fucking need, yeah. dude. <laughs> I'm set me loose. Roll roll tape. Yeah, it was it was great. And uh it's perfect. It was exactly you know, and I'm not gonna complain. It wasn't like I had an an otherwise bad day, but you know, your birthday, you're supposed to sort of just take look out for yourself that day. And sometimes you just can't. I had to get up at 5.50 in the morning mm. uh, and then go to a baseball game that started at 9. It was a two-and-a-half-hour long six-inning game. Uh, it, there's a one-hour, 45-minute time limit, but if you start that last inning, you got to finish it, and boy, oh. did it last. So... There was that, and then it was like, oh, I barely have time for lunch because um, we got to get some rehearsals in. We got Dad Bod coming up on May twenty second at Beer Geeks. We need some. We need to get some rehearsals in. 
And Good idea. I didn't tell them it was my birthday because I want to get a rehearsal in. I don't want them to, you know, be like, oh, it's your birthday, man. Let's not rehearse today. Like, nah, that, 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 that. we're rehearsing today. Well, the game lasted so long. I had to like sprint. My my birthday lunch was Wendy's. I had a sprint to Wendy's and okay. get that and you know, hurry up and get back and get out of here and get to rehearsal. And then, you know, that was a rough one. It was a little rusty, a little Ooh. rusty after 18 oh, months, but, Oh no. Um, then I, then I'm rehearsals wrapping up and my wife is, is calling me in a panic. I locked the keys in uh, to my in-laws house. Cause we were watching their dogs. They were on vacation all week. I locked the keys in there. They're locked in. I can't get the the dogs need to go out. And I can't get them. I'm like, okay, well, I'm at rehearsal. <laughs> I I can't get them. I guess I'll have to call a locksmith. I guess you will. I don't know what else to tell you. Call so the locksmith. locksmith never calls back, and they find well, they eventually call back, and it's not our house, so they had to send a document to my father in law via his email, oh and he had to sign I'm a sure. document. Oh yeah, and old people love locksmith. emails with PDFs and shit, and That's sign them great. digitally and send them back. And then by the time I got home, it was like 5.30. They still hadn't called with like a time when they were going to be here. And I said, well, uh, honey, I can get that door open. She's like, no, you can't break it. Because I said, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to break the handle. They're either going to drill through the lock or just like cut the handle off or something. They're not going to like pick the lock like Dean Winchester. You They're just going to smash the, the handle off and put a new one on and charge us $200, probably, something like that. I said, I got a cinder block. I bet I can get it open. And yeah. I think it's, ha- it's Halloween 6. We figured it out over the weekend, you and I. But uh, Paul Rudd is trying to get away from Michael, and he's smash. He's trying to break, uh, who's it, Tara is her name, I think. He's trying to break her out of uh, Kara. Kara? It's not Kara, but it's like no. spelled like Kara. Kara. He's trying to break her out of her little cell in uh, Smith's Grove. He's got like a fire extinguisher, I think, and he's whacking the handle. I'm like, that mm-hmm. doesn't work. Uh, and then I tried it with a cinder block, and it does. It just pops right off. You smash Turns it a out. couple times, comes right off. Open the door. New doorknob was $29. Done. There you go. You saved 170 bucks. I'm a locksmith now. Put that on my resume. Put, put that. Put uh, the best there is, the best there was. <laughs> put that on the old resume. I'm the too. excellence of execution yeah. in life. In oh, life. You, Not even in what? pro wrestling. <laughs> like he yeah, was. In true. life. That's very true. It was very true. It was, Why do you just have a cinder block, though? I'm not I have, going with that ride. Well, I have four. Because when I lived in Lansing, one day I woke up to go to work, and... I walked up to the car, and I could tell something was wrong, but I couldn't tell what exactly. It was early in the morning. It was kind of chilly. I'm like, something seems weird, but I don't know what it is. Oh, all my wheels are gone, and my car is sitting on cinder blocks. Oh, so you have mementos. So I kept them. They're free cinder blocks. I'm not getting rid of them. There you go. I, I never lost found four tires, wheels. but sure. I gained four cinder blocks. And I'll tell you what. Those cinder blocks have been wheel chocks. I've used those cinder blocks to... Like hold things in place while I cut them with a saw. I've lifted weights with like I've used them as as uh, you know resistance training devices. Mm-hmm. And uh, now to pick a lock. Look at that! What can't these things do? And what can't and, and they Rod do? We trust. What can't they do? Oh, that's cool. God. Well, that's a nice little birthday gift. You're like, at least I get to fuck this door up. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> who, who else locks some keys inside? He's just going door to door. And who the cops it? are right down the road, too. They were, like, they were like pulled off to the side of the road across the street where the school is, like what? <laughs> watching people drive into our neighborhood. And watching like, you just break in. Yeah, which, which just emphasizes my point. He locks all these goddamn doors out of, like, paranoia. If somebody wants to get in, they're getting in. They're in there. It's easy. I did it. I'm not even a pro. Like, those people took my tires while I slept and didn't make a sound loud enough for a dog to bark or anything. So 
You think some career criminal is not going to get into your house? You're out of your goddamn mind. Yeah. You just kind of want to be in there. All you do is just so you can pop, pop, screw other people over when they, they've already done it once. My uh, So Chris locked the key in, but they, my in-laws did it too. They were coming um, next door to eat dinner during the daytime and locked the their entire time. house all up and locked the keys inside. So and, this is a genetic thing as well. Uh, yes. Those boys, you're going to have to sit those boys down and be like, God damn it, kids. Here's what we're not going to be doing. Well, we have a code for the garage. If you, know, like, you don't know the code, so you can't get in, but we know the code. So they put in the code and they get in. Easy. Bingo, bango. Well, what if someone figures out my code? I better lock my internal garage door. No, I'll break in there in 20 seconds. Whap, whap, whap. I'm in. <laughs> it was not hard. And that was without damaging the door whatsoever. Like, Ooh, no, none of the door is damaged. If I was just trying to get in, I could have gotten in a lot faster. But yeah, you were being polite. You yeah. Know, Let me get it right so I don't damage anything. Now, did you just... Did you slam it? Did you hold it high and drop it? What's what's the technique for cinder block door breaking? So I tried to remember Halloween. I just held on to it with two hands and smashed from the top down, like you know, on top of the doorknob, and it just breaks right off. Huh? Now there's like like a metal shaft. Like, the knob just came off, of like, the second hit. And there's, like, a metal shaft underneath that got all bent up when I was hitting it. Mm. So I had to take some pliers and, like, sort of bend that back into shape. And then I could just turn, I just turned it with the pliers and opened it. But if I wanted to, I could have just smashed the handle off and then just smashed the door in with the fucking... I probably could have just kicked the door in with yeah, my at foot. That point. You know? Like, I would have torn the, the door jam all up and everything, but... I'm robbing you. I don't care. Uh, so yeah, I just thought about Halloween six. How did how did old Tommy do it? I didn't know it was I Halloween mean, six, but I was picture. I I literally was picturing the movie where the guy smashes the doorknob off with the fire extinguisher, and I'm like, well, a locksmith's got to come out anyway. These cinder blocks are pretty heavy. I bet I can smash that apart and then open the door. And. I uh, mean, so then she called and canceled it. And then poor, who was it? Daryl? Doug? I think it was Daryl. It could have been Darren. But she calls to cancel, and they call back like two other times. And she's like, no, no, no. We got it. We got in. And they're like, how'd you get in? She's like, with a cinder block. They're like, oh, you know about that, huh? And then, so then they called back a third time, and they said, okay, so you don't need us to come out and uh, open up your 2007 Dodge Charger? She's like, no, what? Who do you think this is? They're like, is this Daryl? She's like, no, I think Daryl still needs you guys to come out and get him into his car because this is not him. But we don't need you to come out, but I would call Daryl back. He's probably waiting for you this whole time. Man. Yeah. So that your local Firestone is good, but your local locksmith. Piss poor. Needs some work over oh, there. Yeah. Damn. Yes, yeah. that's man. I try. I did try some like clever things first, you know, like you see some shit on YouTube or like this all Navy SEALs get in to get you out on a fire or something, you know. I'm I like I would pay money to watch you do some nails, say Navy SEALs, some shit. nails, Attempts, <laughs> some, yeah, some some seals. So <laughs> I tried on our door just putting a credit card in, and it worked <laughs> on our garage door inside because the the thing that locks the like the sloped part that you can like push against to open it was facing the right direction i needed it to be for that to work but get this it only works when the door is unlocked oh <laughs> so what a so i went over to try it on theirs and it just like i just it was used like an old gift card it just like shattered this old gift card into pieces when i pushed it in there damn that was a bummer how much do you think they got for those tires? I don't know, but they were fairly new. And they were on think- um they weren't on like aftermarket expensive wheels, but they were like the alloy wheels. 
So I'm wondering, like... Stomach grumbling? No, that's the dog being irritating. Um, No, I ate some leftover turkey sandwich and a little slice of pizza was pretty good. But this guy over here is being irritating, and there's nothing I could do about it. So um, they weren't just regular steel wheels. So I'm wondering if, like, they scrapped them, if they got extra money, like, took the... Take the tires off, sell those to a junkyard or something, and then scrap the alloy wheels for scrap money. Or I think this was listener John who pointed this out, uh, our friend John too, but he listens to the show. He said um, he wouldn't be surprised if, or maybe it was my stepdad, I don't remember, whoever it was, said it could be that they Same know guy, right? somebody that has that car that's got like bald ass tires and they're like, yeah, these are new. And those are the same wheels you got. We'll just yoink, take these, put them on your car. They're the same wheels you already had and you're all set. You don't got to buy tires now. That seems like a little too altruistic. The, yeah. But also one of the more fun, I don't know, petty crimes. It's like, we're going to drive around. We're going to look for new tires. Gina needs tires. We're getting Gina you know, some tires. We're, you know, like, we're going to we're gonna do a quick, you know, like fucking Formula One NASCAR. Just to get them in, get them in the back and, right. we're, and we're off. Right. Maybe, we, you know, we, we do that a couple times tonight. And then we go to our, our guy when the sun comes up, drop off these tires, make a little money. Then we go home, have a little nap. That's just the fun. Smoke a little mess. Little, si- si- little side hustle. Hey, what's your side hustle? Well, at night, I, I, I go and steal tires. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's hard out there, isn't it? Took the whole goddamn wheel and everything. But put it up on blocks for me. That it, that wasn't, oh, yeah. Jesus. Probably made their job easier, too. But yeah. But they could have, like, been dickheads and just, like, See, after they were done. Dropped it on the ground or something. Yeah, I wonder what the overhead is on that. They're like, all right, we need cinder blocks. Where are we gonna get some cinder blocks? I don't know. I want to. I want to pay for. So now we got to steal cinder blocks first. This is a whole operation. Yeah, go to a now. job site, steal Jeez. some copper while you're there, because that's valuable. The, yeah, that was yeah, back the tires when copper was through the roof. <laughs> yeah, and it just plummeted like the the Doji coin. That's not plummeting, sir. All right. We are up a lot of money on that shit. Alexa, what's Doji coin at right now? Mm, yeah, you don't know shit. Dude. <laughs> hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what's? Mm. I think you're making that up. <laughs> mm, you're pretending to be an investor. That's interesting. Did Elon send you? Is it time for a D&D? You're role-playing again. Very good. Oh, shit. D&D. Go check out dmsguild.com. Check out Dale's Adventures. It's on, it's under his real name in there. You can just look Damn him up. His shoot name. His shoot name. Screen award winning screenwriter. Boom boom. Dale's yeah, just search Dale's Zawada. You get the nice list of adventures, the the ever growing list, and the reviews keep pouring in. I love when the reviews come in for like the really old ones. Like my very first one still gets reviews every now and then. Is and that I'm the like, PUBG awesome. one? Uh, no, that's the. Potions Eleven, the the heist one. See, I never played that one, and I played. Oh. I did it legit. I did it legit. I downloaded the ones I played, and reviewed those. We'll have to figure out a way to to play that one because I think everybody else has. So I don't think they'd want to run it again. Whoa, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. And then got the new one in the pipeline, the Toxic Adventure, which is just which what, is what fun. That's, that's about, about. Yeah, it, it certainly can't be the Toxic Avenger. No, 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 but that's going to be fun. We're testing that one out soon. So that'll be up there uh, in June. I want to, I want to throw that out there the week of my birthday. And I want, I want to be somewhat productive while I celebrate getting older. Maybe I'll have some cinder block fun. You could, I got some for you if you want them. I kept there them out go. of spite all these years and used them as many times as I could. Just to, just to sort of, uh, you know, be like, Oh, oh thank you universe. I really, I could, you know, I didn't realize how much I was missing cinder blocks in my life. I really life appreciate hand, this. When life hands you cinder blocks. Dale, yeah. here's what you need to know about my neuroses. That happened in Lansing. 
I moved two times and took the cinder blocks with me both times. What are the conversations like with your wife during these moves when she's like, you're really bringing yeah. cinder blocks again? Huh? And then the answer is, yep, I use them all the time. And now what is she? Now this one's fresh. What's she going to say? Next time I want to keep the, she sees that cinder block in the garage and she thinks about saying, can we get rid of those? She'll remember, man, that really saved me a lot of money having them cinder blocks. You mean that these heroes here? I think they're going to stay. Oh, you mean the squad? Yeah, they live here. And honestly, I, I didn't really have another easy way to get that doorknob off than that you, cinder block. That was just I mean, perfect. you thought about fire extinguisher, obviously. You're like, do we have a fire extinguisher? Like in the movie? I don't want to do that, though. That could be bad. Yeah, I mean, I, did, I knew we didn't have like a big one like that that I didn't want to wreck. But I did think like, well, what do I have that can just bust the handle off real quick? And I immediately thought of good old cinder blocks. They're right, they're right in the garage, right where I need them, whenever I need them. Absolutely. Old, reliable. Old, reliable. They never, never let me down. Not yet. I use them. I do calf raises on them. I, put, I don't have a, uh, a bench that adjusts. It's just a flat bench, and I'll like put it up on an angle on one of the cinder blocks, you know, do a little incline. And, DIY. Uh, never let me down. I do really use them I'm telling you. regularly. You make a little YouTube video. Jim's top 10 uses for cinder blocks. Number three, weights. Number five, breaking doors. Number seven, <laughs> stealing tires. <laughs> That's probably number one overall, though. It's got to be. Because that's like the old <laughs> joke. That's a National Lampoon uh, vacation, the first one, where they're, he's like, they're in St. Louis. They're like, they're on the way to St. Louis or something, talking to the guys on the street, and he's just keeping them busy while they take their wheels. Number six, weighing down bodies in the lake. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I still have all four of mine, so I've not done that one for anyone that's I'm, listening. And I will tell you this. If you ever go to the, the Sneta King residence and you see that those cinder blocks are missing, check the lake. Or just check. probably turn around and just don't come back is your safest bet. I wonder how many cinder blocks are at the bottom of Cedar Lake in Cedar Lake, Indiana. I bet there are a shit ton. A little bit. Al Capone once had a little house on that lake. Real, oh yeah, yeah. 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 So when his brain was rotting oh, from yeah. the syphilis, yeah, he had a bunch of them STDs. Oh yeah, mind of a child near the end. Is that what they say? Mm -hmm. I never uh, really looked into it. It's a fun. It's a fun story. Yeah, he's not as he's really not as cool as you think. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really look cool either. Like he doesn't look anything like Robert De Niro, who played him in Untouchables. Yeah, that's hard to live up to. They're like, oh, let's give him a slightly different nose. It'll look just like Al Capone. Like, no, that looks like Robert De Niro. All right, De Niro, we're gonna ask you to uh, play this role like you just ate, uh, drank a gallon of paint thinner. <laughs> All right, that's what we need from you because that's where his mind is at right now. Enthusiasms. So speaking of plugs there, obviously, you know, I'm going to do a reverse plug right back at you. Obviously, the dad bod, May 22nd at Beer Geeks in yes. Highland. I'm hyped that there's a fucking Facebook event page for it now. And I'll, yes, there is. I was like, woo, 12 days before the show. There we go. Better late than never. Is this you? Is this your doing? I did it, but Jesus. you definitely got under Eric's skin because he listens to the show. Good. Got to get it done, guys. You got to promote. Oh, no. You know what promote, it was? Promote. You were on the dad bod page and we're like, hey, there's no event oh, page yeah. for this. I didn't even like do like, it passive Shit. aggressively. I did it aggressive aggressively. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> double aggressive. <laughs> You're like, no event page, huh? Okay, I guess you really want people to be there. I was like, is this still happening? You know, sometimes you get concerned. Shows get pulled every now and then. Um, and yeah, now he's like, I'll, I'll do it tonight. I'm like, I'll just do it. I'll, I'll do it. It's okay. I'll do it when I get home and you, you put up the flyers. And now it's double promotion because there's a second dad bod page. It's a this group. It's a group. This is a group. You can hang out and send us little messages and we can talk about stuff. 
And that's all Man. Facebook scamming me because they're like, hey, you created this event, but there's three more steps that you could do to enhance your page. You want to try them? And that was the only one I got to. <laughs> Man, I don't even know what the other ones were. Me. Oh, the other ones were like, share the event with everybody. Yeah, I'll do that. That'll be an easy sure. one. Yeah. But uh, I invited so everybody to that group. Good, good. I used to try and share. I used to try and curate that as I was sending invites. Like, I know this person that barely knows me in California doesn't give a f- and and they're never coming to a show, so it doesn't do me any good to invite them to this page or whatever. I'm like, you know what? Nope, I don't care. You don't want to. You don't want to join. Don't join it. Everyone's getting this spam. Come You're at. Just me. gonna take it. Come at me. What are you gonna do? And it helps. It. Ha- I think it helps even when. Like, we used to do that in black, and yeah, I can't make the show. We're like, okay, say you're coming anyway. You know, it, it, if there are a bunch of people on Facebook yeah. that say they're going, that yeah, makes other people want to go. So just lie and say you're going. Every, just click that, yes, you're going. We, I know you've told us you're not. We're not this isn't a real thing to RSV. <laughs> we don't need to, like, reserve tables for you. This isn't a wedding. Everybody, if you see this, just say, yes, I'm going. And then it'll say there's 200 people going. And people will go, I better go to this. This is all the rage. It makes sense. It's just good booking. You know what? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click going right now, even though I'm not going. No, I'm probably not. I'm, I'll be there. You, you no, noticed it's official. it. You, you guys caught it. Even though I'm not going. No, I'm g- probably going. No. <laughs> well, I think I get out at 8. It's, it shows 8 to 11. I was just, I'm going to catch the second half. That's fine. Look, shows 8 to 11, but you never know what happens. You get a few beers on us. He's not. Like, Encore. They, they don't. Cl- they're not like one of these places that closes early. So it's the Wild West. This is in Indiana. You never they don't know. have laws. You never know. They don't even have walls. <laughs> Go outside for a smoke. You're already outside. There's no walls. Not in Indiana. Just four posts and a roof. I hope it doesn't rain in here. <laughs> Goddamn Indiana. Oh, speaking of Indiana, on the. <laughs> On the Lowell Facebook page. That's where I lived, Lowell. (laughs) We had a big rain out here. And I guess there's parts of Lowell that are worse than others. I don't know how to put it. But this guy, like, he was like, Lowell shuts off their sewer. And I got proof. And he, like, jackhammered up the floor of his basement. (laughs) (laughs) Where the drain cap, like where the there's like a clean out in there, and he he like he like jammed up the floor in his basement, and there's just like a river of water running oh under his God. basement. <laughs> I was just thinking, what was the point of that? They don't slime. give a shit. They don't care if that's yeah. That's what it reminded me of was some Ghostbuster shit. Like, look what's running under this building. <laughs> <laughs> it's water. They don't. They, the sewers are off. The water's backing up. Like, what do you think they're gonna come out there and fix it? Because you posted on Facebook. Now you just gotta patch your floor up. <laughs> do you think they're gonna pay for that? Do you no, think you got them? No, they're not. This is proof. Like, okay, I guess maybe. It's probably in some bylaw that you agree to by paying taxes or something that they they can do that whenever they want. <laughs> All you did was inconvenience yourself for a couple of clicks. But I hope it goes viral. That's It's like crazy to see. I want to see it. This guy is just standing in the middle of his basement. It's all cement. And he, where he jackhammered the hole up, there's just a river running under his feet. He's all snarged up. I don't know. Nah, maybe not. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, they got a lot of comments. I bet. That little Facebook page, oh boy. It's it's fun. It can be really fun. Some winners. Yeah. There's like some inside jokes. Oh my god. I, I get that. I, I do get that though. And uh like the, the McDonald's they're remodeling and they're like completely like tearing it down and rebuilding it. And uh, you know, everyone had known this for like a week, but then the the, the bit was like to just keep asking what's happening where the McDonald's is. And this guy's just like listed the address. Someone's like, no more posts about the McDonald's. And he's like, what is going on with the property at uh East blah, blah. He just like listed the address. <laughs> and there, <laughs> there's this like group of old guys that always hangs out at McDonald's and gets breakfast every morning. 
And they've been hanging out on the sidewalk in lawn chairs outside the McDonald's every morning because that's, that's yeah. where their crew hangs out. I like that. That's, I mean, that's not going to be my spot when I'm an old man, but I will have a spot. With and my, it's commit, your commitment to the, the bit, too. Because someone, someone asked, what's going to happen to the old guys that are always in McDonald's? Where are they going to go? Nowhere. <laughs> They're just going to watch. <laughs> They'll probably kibitz about it a little bit and tell them they're doing it wrong like what you should yeah. use the other bit when you're jackhammering that part away back in the day we did it by hand everything was a slotted screw too what is that is that a craftsman nah, that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work yeah our local facebook page that one of the in- big inside jokes that i think i helped uh really get rolling was <laughs> uh is, is the walmart deli open <laughs> Because uh, I have I forgot, so there was like a power outage, something. They're like, all right, power's back on, you know, at Walmart. And some somebody was like, yeah, but <laughs> but is the deli open? <laughs> and, they were, and they were like, why? What does that mean? She's like, yeah, it's like the ep- epicenter of Walmart. Like everything runs through the deli. So if the deli's down, it, does, it doesn't mean shit. So now every time anybody mentions anything, I'm just like, yeah, but uh, is the deli open? Is the or deli what? open? <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a little yeah, things that one of the other bit, life. the other bits here is that uh anytime there's a new business it's just it's either an auto parts store or a thrift store or a gas station so <laughs> someone will post like oh look at they're doing construction on the blah 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 you know block of whatever and then there's like nine posts about like oh so it's going to be another second hand store or is that one going to be auto parts you got to get it in get it in Get the jokes in. And some people, it's it's funny because it's either those people or the people that are 100% serious and have no part of it. But they engage. Yeah. Like, they don't actually, I think it's going to be a steak and shake is yeah. what I heard. Assholes. Everyone's always here making fun of Lowell, but I love our great town and all of our local businesses. And they're not all thrift stores and gas stations and auto parts stores. And you know and that. But you say this every time. Business. And then this one guy, this it's one particular guy. Every time he's like, they're putting in a strip club. Nice. <laughs> he's like, I want that strip club. Please. Give it to me. The people demand it. No, that's just you, Steve. Every time it's just you. I was it thinking about you. that, actually. I was like, are there any local strip clubs by me? I don't think there are. I think Chicago Heights is like the closest one. And you know what I think me. it is? I think there are like municipal rules about what kinds of bit shut up about what kinds of businesses can be in and towns that don't have rules about that like harvey they'll have like nine strip clubs because it's like well this is the closest place that doesn't have this rule you know like the town board has to vote on it or whatever and it's only in like certain towns that they're allowed like 4 a.m drinking laws all that sort of yeah chicago heights has has a couple harvey's got a few Oh, shut up. Very growly. I think Hammond, Indiana has like nine. Yeah. When I worked on yeah. cash registers, I we put uh we had a point of sale system in a in a gentleman's club. And it would be really sad. You'd be there at like three in the afternoon. And I'm like, they're probably not even open at this hour. And there would be like at least a couple guys in there drinking at the bar. And I'm like, this isn't even like a there's nobody here. There's nobody like uh, dancing. Why would you just come here to drink? <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? What? Are, so they have hours where there's no dancers? I, there were no dancers there when I was there. Right, they called off, and I'm not getting up there. Trust me, pal. You don't want to see it. Yeah, I think there's like you know it just doesn't make sense for them to be there if there's nobody there. But there's all there's like then a why couple be guys. open? I don't know. That was my question. That's what didn't make any sense to me. You know, a lot of those places, they're not the smoothly run operations you would think they are. So Really? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I figured it was like a well-owned family business that was passed on generation to generation. Oh, Uh-oh. I was wondering. I was wondering. File's like, done. Give me, give me a second. Folks. Yeah, let's hear this. Hello. Apologize about those um, that mistiming with the puddle lights. 
Um, it's something we don't really do that much, so we weren't expecting the shortages and everything else that was happening with it. But everything is all Shortage. set. The puddle lights are not working. Um, and you Goddamn longage to me. The puddle lights, the battery, and the update. Cool. Uh, 6.30 work? Yeah, that's, you can actually pick up until 8 p.m. Your paperwork's going to be with our cashiers, and your cars will be parked up right against the side of the building. All right, cool. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for the update about the longage. <sighs> Did you see how polite I am, though? Like, even though I'm fuming, you never, what well, you don't take it out on these people. They, they didn't do it. Well, she did. Well, actually, she, she did do it. She was the one. That, that, you were that. immediately like, don't take it out on her. She didn't do it, but she did. She did. She was the one. Like, the it. mechanics didn't call me. The mechanics were like, why are you calling this dude? We're not fucking even <laughs> close to done with this. Susan, piece I didn't of say shit. it was done. <laughs> I said, I'm done with this fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you know, that was, it, was a, it was a metaphor. Oh, fucking Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you calling him? Because I want this car out of here. But it's not done. I don't give a shit. Oh. It's not something we do that often. I was like, that's either a good thing or a bad thing for me. Woo. Oh, shit. I don't even know how puddle lights work. I can't wait to f- not find out because apparently they're just going to give me my keys and I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> oh, God. I've. Yeah, the shortage. And, and that's the shortage. Not what, your wires are all fucked up, man. <laughs> you don't, but that's not what you call it. She was talking about the short, right? Yeah. You don't call it a shortage. I mean, maybe they do in she England. That sounds like know. some shit they'd say in the UK. It's a shortage. It's a shortage. What's it called? A short out? Just a short. a short. They call it a short. short. Oh, she, got, no, she works in the office. No, she's there to shortage makes it sound like they ran out of lights and had to go get more. Sorry about the maybe shortage that, with the lights. Maybe, maybe that's what actually was what happened. They're like, yeah, we said uh, your kid arrived. Uh, we were wrong. It did, but so they, go they didn't include and... all the lights. We there was a shortage, so we had to go get more. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Dale had it all wrong, and we were making fun of this lady. <laughs> that would be the best. She's like, no, idiot. I didn't say short. I said there was a shortage. We didn't have enough lights. <laughs> you don't know anything about cars. Or electrics. Too bad. <laughs> oh, at, least I know <laughs> at least I know what I'm doing after the podcast. Sir. Get to walk back to the Kila dealer. Yeah, do roller. they have, at least have some Perfect. free bad coffee in there? They did, and they had um, goldfish mm, as well. For the children. Yeah, I took a couple. I hate car dealerships so badly because every time I go in there, I know I'm going to be in there for, even if it's, let's say I'm going in to get a car. Well, I'm going to be here for three and a half hours. Let's say I'm not. Let's say I just need like my other spare key, which you would think is a 30 second ordeal. That's going to be 25 minutes. So every time I go to a car dealership, I know it's going to suck way more time out of my day than it reasonably should. Yep. You have to you have to allocate more time to to that than you think. Just double it. Just play it safe and double it and you're still probably wrong. I'm just glad I'm old now. It's one of the nice things about being old is is when it's time to go to the dealership and get a car, I just know I'll be home at eleven o'clock at night. Maybe I'll get to eat. What's open of twenty four hours? I'll have that on the way home. Mm, Wendy's again. Great. Yeah, that's always Wendy's with you people. It could have been steak and shake on your birthday. That, how sad would that have been? I, like I haven't eaten stuff. steak and shake in probably a decade. That's good because with your body, you would oh, die. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> you would literally die. It would just blast me. I'd blast apart like uh, thunder from Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> like, there's a lot of sodium in here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about old, you're not old. Don't listen to Brett. You're not. We're not old. I'm. I'm going to do one of those Warrior Dash things, but not Warrior Dash because apparently Warrior Dash got discontinued in like 2019. Shows how much I've been paying attention. But I'm going to do one of these obstacle courses this year, I think, because we're not old. We're young. Is it because Warrior Warrior's family sued? I. That's his hope, real legal name. I really hope so. God, that would be the best. Because he is. That's a litigious family. I would love that. Those those carnies. Carney's gonna carney, man. Carney's gonna carney. 
All right, what do I have here as we wind down the show? Uh, Aaron Rodgers update. Do, 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 do. Um, nothing has really changed over the last week. It sounds like Aaron's probably not going anywhere. He just wants to whine. Duh. Yeah, I mean, this happens every year. He's salty about losing, which I appreciate. Um, and I don't really give a shit what he says or thinks in his private times. But Adam Scheffler wanted to fucking blow up the draft and get some ratings. Everyone's talking about Adam Scheffler and his tweets. Ugh, just fucking up everything because he's an idiot. He's popping a um, rating, bro. He sure did. He sure did. ESPN loves him for that. And now it's just a, a waste and awkward situation for a lot of people. What else do I have here? Uh, Venom. The new Venom 2 trailer. Venom. There I is carnage. It. I watched it. Venom, it's carnage time. What the fuck is the subtitle on that? I think there will I think it is there will be carnage. There will be but, carnage, yeah. But it looks I think it looks good. So you didn't watch the first one, mm -hmm. right? Um, at least going off this trailer, it does look better than the first. It looks fun. It looks a little more fun. Some people might say a little too silly. Um, with Venom kind of really rocking the comedy, at least yeah. in the trailer. Really rocking some comedy, and I I don't I, I don't automatically think that's going to make it bad, but it just it just doesn't resonate with me. Like as a fan of the character, it doesn't make me like oh I got to see this. It just seems like they're like well uh, Deadpool's cool, and that's kind of a funny silly movie with violence, and just the fact that he's like eating people all the time. Like Venom didn't eat people. He likes to I mean, maybe down. at some point, way late in the lore, but it wasn't like in you know the cla the classic Venom storylines like the symbiote just needs to eat people. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I never even heard of anything like that until the movie. Yeah, can and we? Like, eat her? Right, I guess that's, it's I guess fun. That's and it's silly, but it's like, yeah. what does this have to do with Venom at all? And they didn't show a lot of carnage in the trailer. What they, did, what they show did was a little rough. Yeah. It's some It's the pre that's what they always do. It's the trailer. This wasn't the final effects. Don't show it. Don't show it. Like I was enjoying all the Woody Harrelson voiceover, uh human form. What's his name? Cassidy Lee. Orange Cassidy. Uh, his name is Cletus Cassidy. Cletus Cassidy. I enjoyed all that. And I was like, that's cool. Like, we could just call it now. Wasn't he in like, the first no, movie? Here's... He was like a post credits. Oh, thing. he wasn't. I thought he was like a, like a main character. No, in it. And then at the end, no, it's no, like, no, he's no. going to be Carnage. Nope. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we'll see. I will not see this movie. I will not <laughs> until it's on HBO Max or something, but I will not be going to the theater for that one. The new Saw is coming out in a week or so. Uh, that one I might go see. I wanted to. So that was supposed to come out last year. Then, you know, COVID. Yep. And then I don't know if I talked about it on the show. But, you know, uh, maybe a month ago, they put out the trailer for Spiral, a Saw story with Chris Rock. Yes. And I was like, okay, let's fire up this trailer. It looks like shit. Oh, no. Looks like dog shit. The worst part of it, uh, believe it or not, is Chris Rock. I couldn't take it seriously. Because he's just like, he's out there killing people. And it's just like, I, you just laugh because he's Chris Rock and he's a funny man. Uh, but drama is very hard to take him seriously with. So that was looking pretty rough. So that went from a must-see theater movie for me to if I've got the time, if it's raining and I can't go fishing or something, maybe I'll just go watch Spiral Story, the Saw movie, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, but that's coming out soon, so that's that's good. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a Chris Rock performance where I thought he could probably be a really good dramatic actor, or like a really good, like horror movie persona. Yeah. I'm not saying he, was, he can't, but I never saw anything in his other roles where I'm, where it like indicated that, oh, what do we got here? And I've only, I've only seen a handful of things he's been in, but. Okay, he was like the worst part of I think it was True Detective season two, another dramatic role, and like that's when they should have known. Like, all right, he's one of the funniest people alive. Let's have him do funny things. You know, Adam Sandler kind of branched off. He can do some drama, which is pretty neat. Look at look at him being versatile. Um, Chris Rock, who knew that? It's really not, really not equipped for it. Jamie Foxx, 
Yeah, Jamie Foxx. Great at it. Oh yeah. But was doing I, it early I actually too. I actually prefer his dramatic stuff over the comedy stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's sort of Yeah, I think yeah, it's better. It's definitely better for sure, but he he still makes me laugh. Yeah. When he like makes Baby one Driver, people... he's really good in Baby Driver. I like him in that. Didn't see that. My last little thing here. Uh, I've had this in my notes for a while. I just wanted to mention uh, once again, the Toxic Avenger. Um, the act, the feature film, the reboot coming out down the road here. Um, Peter Dinklage is in it, and they've just some more casting news. They have Taylor Page as their female lead for it. Um, I'm not terribly familiar with her. She was in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, where she won some bunch of awards. A white Boy Rick, it's, you know, same story. I haven't seen uh, so, those. So, you know, really talented young lady, uh, African American lady as well. Um, which we never really saw all that much in the troll movies. It was just punk rock, white kids making yeah. movies. Um, so pretty versatile little cast here. And we'll see. I, I have no faith. I have very low expectations for a studio to do any type of toxic Avenger movie. So I'm not going to be disappointed in any way. Cause it's either going to not be in the spirit of those movies or it's going to be in the spirit of the movie but done poorly because they won't go to the extremes that trauma would so it'll be watered down uh garbage and that's but we'll the see. last thing you want but i i will i will see like i hope i don't even know if it's rated r i should look into that could you imagine that'd be hilarious <laughs> i would say the worst thing would be watered down garbage because even if it isn't in the spirit there's a chance it could just randomly be a good movie that's just nothing like toxic avenger but if they try and do toxic avenger half-assed then it was it'll certainly be bad you know what <gasps> i mean like maybe oh, venom yeah. is funny and is a really cool movie the venom 2 yeah even though it, it doesn't seem anything like venom whereas if they you know just half-assed it then you know it's just gonna be shit you can't half-ass anything and it's good yeah 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 so kind of reading about it right now um so yeah uh plugs we've done plugs dmsguild.com search dale zawada pick up those are free just pick them up fucking download them read them play them with your friends leave a review and then we got dad bod beer Face, geeks facebook.com slash dad bod live you can go click on the event page say you're going even if you're not i don't care i want i want to see a lot of goings had those stats had the stats for us God, because that place, oh, man, it's just kind of small. I'm very nervous that you're going to have a large turnout. And I'm like, this is great for them. I'm going to step outside, and I'm just going to drink outside. I'm already outside because there are no walls here. <laughs> there are do walls it. at Beer Geeks, regardless <laughs> of what Dale is telling here you. Here he goes. He's always, <laughs> she's, that was my always co-host saying everybody. that. That was my co-host, not me saying that. That will do it for episode 175. Thank you for listening. I'm Mrs. Kim. And I'm the excellence of execution in life. Never change.